Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pinesett here, the pre-med productivity expert, and we're today we're talking about how to successfully transition from nursing to medical school. I get a lot of questions about this. There's a lot of nurses out there, and actually in my programs, um, I have a lot of nurses who are gearing up and making that transition or now pre-med to go to medical school. And so I thought I'd give you guys uh, some information about it to help you guys out there who are nurses and trying to make your transition from that career in nursing to medical school. In this video, we're gonna be talking about one, first thing we're gonna talk about is, <clears throat> are medical schools discriminating against nurses? Do medical schools not want nurses uh, in their school? So we'll talk about that. The second thing we'll talk about is the number one mistake that I've seen nurses make when they transition to medical school. And it's a big one and it costs people dearly, I feel, in the application. And what they see as discrimination, I think, is actually a direct result of not following through with this. Then we'll cover five strategies to optimize your transition. So five key things that you should be doing, you can be doing, to make sure that your transition is successful and it's smooth as can be for you. So that's what you're gonna learn in this video today. Um, if you are still a nursing student, if you don't plan on going and doing clinical nursing duties, I want you to check out my video called Should You Do Nursing Before Medical School because it will cover for the nurses in training that transition and pre-med because it's a little bit different than when you're a career nurse and you've been working as a nurse for a couple of years out of school or 20 years out of school. So I want you to check that video out. It's linked below in the description. The other thing is if you're on the fence about transitioning, so this video is not designed to help you make that decision, but I have another video entitled The Three Considerations from Going from Nursing to Medical School. And I'm also gonna link that video in the box below so you guys can check that out. Uh, if this is your first time joining me, so this is also we're gonna cover in this video, it's gonna be great, it gives you lots of high yield specific information. If this is your first time joining me, I want to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Andrew Pines, and I'm the pre-med productivity expert. And even though pre-med is in the title, guys, I'm just a productivity expert. I help students, I help people who work, I help everyone be more productive. I mean, I lecture the whole spectrum of people from high school to college to medical school. I lecture residents on efficiency. I, re I lecture uh, physicians on efficiency and clinic efficiency and how to be more productive at their work. And then I'm also outside of the healthcare sector, lecturing people on how to be more productive. So if you want to be more productive, if you want to feel better about yourself, if you want to be more motivated, I've got something for you. I want you to go over my website, premedproductivity.com, and check that out. Also, this is your first time joining me. Don't let this be your last time joining me. You know what I'm saying? Like this video, subscribe to the channel. You can like it right now, right below, and then subscribe to this channel. That way you never miss a beat. When you subscribe, turn on live notifications because I go live every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I lecture, and then I answer your guys' questions. And I have a new one of these recorded videos every Tuesday and every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Are right, you guys all caught up to speed on who I am and why you should listen to me? I'm the authority, guys. I'm not some person who's some, some social media figurehead. I'm actually a physician and I've actually done the process and I've helped other people do it and I speak at universities all the time. I'm the biz. So now let's get into it. Nursing. How do you transition from nursing to medical school? And the very first thing we should talk about is the, the big elephant in the room that I think a, people, a lot of people feel is that there's discrimination against nurses going to medical school. A lot of nursing students or nurses who have worked will email me and say, I'm just so worried, I wanna make the jump, but I'm worried that medical schools won't let me in because I'm a former nurse. And what I wanna, if you get nothing else from this video, get this. Medical schools do not discriminate against nurses. It's actually a nice thing if you've done nursing before medical school, because if you've done that, that means you're an older applicant, so you have some maturity. Additionally, you're gonna have plenty of clinical experience. You're gonna have seen behind the, the curtain to see what medicine and working in a hospital really is. And so medical schools will appreciate that. And the third thing is, is that if you've gone through the rigorous training of nursing, right, you survived a uh, nursing uh, internship, as they will call it, right, those new trainee programs, and you've been through all this, they know that you're a person who works hard. You're a person who can get the job done in the classroom, and so you're a safe bet, right? You're a proven prospect for them to take in. So I wanna tell you guys, medical schools do not discriminate against nurses, and in fact, medical schools actually like nurses. I'm not gonna say they like them more than any other student, but they will not discriminate you against you uh, for being a nurse. And as a nurse, you have several advantages, and I'm gonna talk about it in a second, how you can exploit them. And I guess we can start about it right now, right? Um, we're talking about the number one mistake that nurses make when they transition to medical school. 
And the number one mistake, uh, and I apologize, I'm in the hospital right now, I'm in the pediatric wig. <laughs> There's a, a child crying, clearly upset. It's a hospital, so kids aren't gonna be happy to be here, get their shots, so I apologize for that. <laughs> um, but the number one mistake that nursing students make when they transition to medicine is that they're scared of that discrimination, and so they try to downplay their nursing role. Do you understand what I'm saying? They worked as a nurse, they had achievement as a nurse, they've had an experience as a nurse, and they think I shouldn't talk about my nursing background because I'm going to be discriminated against. And so they flush that down. And that's a huge major mistake because what it does is when you apply to medical school, medical schools are looking for candidates who are, I call it two things, double D, distinct and distinguished. How are you different from other people and how are you better from other people? And being a nurse makes you incredibly different from other people. It can also make you a distinguished applicant because you may have some achievements as a nurse. Maybe you were recognized, maybe you had a leadership position, maybe you have all these things. And if you don't talk about that, you've taken away what's gonna separate your application in that pile from everybody else's. You essentially now become a regular pre-med. And worse, you become a, an inferior pre-med because most of your achievement is gonna be nursing oriented. So if you ignore that stuff, you're ignoring your achievements, where the other pre-meds will have uh, certain publications, certain research, certain things they've done in the pre-med space, they've done, you wouldn't have done that because you were going nursing. So your track is different. So you're taking away your whole history and making yourself a very bland shadow of yourself. So I wouldn't do that. It's the number one mistake. Be proud of your nursing. Be proud of it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you five strategies for actually bringing out that nursing and that excellence you have as a nurse to make yourself stand on the application. And the first thing I will tell you is, if you wanna stand out as a nurse, what you need to make sure you do is while you're in nursing, you need to make sure that you're making quality contact with physicians. I know you work with physicians every, physicians every day, but you need to make quality contact with physicians because when you apply to medical school, you will need a letter of recommendation, at least one from a medical doctor. It's better if you have two, but if you can at least get one, that would really help your candidacy because it would evidence what you're talking about and your desire to switch to medicine. It would evidence your proficiency in a clinical space. And when I say quality content, uh, contact, what I'm saying is showing them that you're a great nurse, that you care for patients, that you're compassionate, all these kind of things. Make sure the doctor knows your name. Make sure the doctor knows your intentions of going to medical school and that way they can evaluate you in that light and can probably give you pointers and whatever it might be, but that way they know you and they have a whole sense of you. So when you ask them for a letter of recommendation, it's not out of the blue. So you wanna leverage your clinical time. A lot of nurses will wait until they're pre-med and switch out of nursing and then try to find shadowing. And you don't need to shadow. You're around doctors in a real environment all the time. So use that opportunity to show out. Additionally, use your clinical time as many opportunities to shadow. So ask the doctor if you can hang out on rounds and, and go on rounds uh, after your shift or before your shift. That way you get that exposure to physicians and you see how physicians think a little bit differently than nurses. And you can talk about that in your transition story where you have this clear meaning for why you're going into medicine. And that's my second tip is if you're gonna go from nursing to medicine, they're entirely different fields. Even though they're in healthcare, they're entirely different things. You have to have a clear, coherent, and meaningful story for why you're going from nursing to medical school. If you cannot tell them why you're going from nursing to medical school, they're not gonna look highly upon you because it's just like the pre-med candidate who can't explain why they're going into medicine. And that seems like a super basic question to, to ask, like why are, you, why are you going to medicine? Everyone should have an answer to that. But you'd be surprised the number of people who show up at interviews and have forgotten what they said in their application for their reason to go to medicine. And they come up with some generic answer of, oh, I like science and I wanna help people, yay. And it doesn't work for them. So if you're transitioning from nursing, you have to have a clear reasoning of why you're making that transition and be able to evidence that. And that's why that letter of recommendation from your physician is so important because it'll talk about how, you know, when I was in this nursing, I saw such and such in this nursing role and they were capable of more and they wanted more or different and now they're over here. So it's gonna create this clear trajectory so they don't have any questions about whether you really want to go into medicine or not. Does that make sense to everybody? The third thing you have to do is before you transition out, you're gonna to have to have extracurriculars 
to go into medical school. And oftentimes you don't have the same type of extracurriculars that a student who's been in college would have had because you've been out working as a nurse. And a mistake I see nursing students make is they'll go and they'll try to volunteer at a club or do uh, volunteer at a hospital, do different things that are steps backwards. Instead, I want you to leverage your expertise to, st to stand out on the application. And the way you do that is that while you're a nurse, as soon as you get in your head that you're going to transition, start looking for quality improvement initiatives to get on. Start looking for different nursing initiatives in the hospital to be a part of. Different hospital-wide initiatives to be a part of. Different committees and different leadership roles you can take. Things like training other nurses. Things like being a, a, a support system to the supervisor of the unit. Trying to get a supervisorial position. Trying to move to higher acuity levels of care. Trying to get recognized, nurse of the month, uh, in your sector of the month, whatever it might be. But all these little points of recognition and leadership and opportunities are things you can put into your activity section that will, again, make you stand out in your application. Medical schools would love it if you were the nursing coordinator. Medical schools would love it if you were on a quality improvement team that led an initiative that made care safer for patients. Even if you weren't the primary spearhead, you're on that committee and it's something you can talk about in your application. So look to leverage while you're there. Yes, you're doing your nursing, but you're preparing for your transition. And to do that, you're doing things to build that resume, build that application up so you can be a successful applicant. Woo, that's three good points. <laughs> uh, the fourth thing is, and, and this is tough for also non-traditional students, but if you're gonna be transitioning either from being non-traditional in a whole nother career or you're transitioning from nursing to go back into medicine, you need to make sure that you're mentally and financially ready. And when we say mentally ready, what we're talking about is you're a nurse. You're independent, right? You, you, you come, you work, you get paid, you can pick your shifts, you, right? You have all this freedom and flexibility. And now all of a sudden you're signing yourself up for seven to 10 years of where your freedom has been revoked. You have to work when they tell you to work. You have to do what they tell you to do. You're at the bottom of the totem pole. You have to kiss all the doctor's butts, all the attendings, everyone above you, the resident, all these people. You have to kiss these butts, even though you may know more than them clinically. Why? Because you've been working as a nurse. But you've got to understand that they're going to be above you because that's the pecking order in medicine. And you have to respect that. And so you want to mentally prepare yourself to, to be able to be humble and go in and say, you know what? I'm used to having independence. I'm used to being respected. And now I know I'm gonna be treated like a turd because I'll be a medical student and a first year medical student. So be prepared for that so it's not such a shock because I've seen nurses buck at this transition. And the continuation of that is, right? When they buck at this, what I mean is, is they're used to being independent, they're used to being a nurse. And so when people challenge them or people talk down to them, they say, listen, I'm a nurse. And what you have to recognize is, yes, you're a nurse. But as your new role, your number one, you're a pre-med. You're a pre-med before you're a nurse. Then once you're in medical school, you're a medical student before you're a nurse. So nobody wants to hear about how you were a nurse all the time as your comeback to why you should be able to be treated differently than other people or you should have different access. And this is very important. And it's, it's not valid that this is the way it is, right? You do have clinical experience. You do have experience that other people don't have. So you shouldn't have to be talked down to. But the culture of medicine is malignant and it's very unfortunate and very sad, but that's how it is. They cannibalize their own. And now you're part of that system, so you have to be used to them trying to take bites out of you and mistreating you and just take it, okay? Don't go touting, I'm a nurse. You can't, you're a pre-med and then you're a medical student. You're, the nurse is secondary, right? So that's the mental part. The financial part is you've been a nurse, you're making nice money. <laughs> if you need more money, you pick up another shift, right? <laughs> For nurses, you work th uh, three, a lot of them work three days a week, so then you can actually have two jobs, you can be raking in cash. And now all of a sudden, you're gonna be put in a position where you went from making all this cash, you had a certain lifestyle, and now you're gonna lose that income, be acquiring debt for a long, long time, and then even when you're making money as a resident, you're not making the same money you were making as a nurse. 
And so you have to make lifestyle adjustments. And I've seen nursing students be overextended when they make that transition because their lifestyle is based on making 80, 90, $100,000 a year. And now they're not making that and they've got a car payment, a mortgage payment, they've got kids, they have all those other things and they can't afford it. So you have to make sure that you're financially sound and you have a base to be able to absorb this massive change in cash flow in your life. Otherwise, you're gonna end up upside down, not able to focus, you're gonna either flunk out or just be unhappy and you'll end up reverting back to nursing. And I've seen this happen where nurses will go into pre-med and the finances of it are too much for them so they just go back to nursing. Or they'll start doing part-time nursing. And then part-time nursing is a little bit of money and they want more money so they need to start doing you know, a little more than part-time. And then like, they start doing full-time again. And so it, it's, a, it's a smooth transition back into nursing because they need that money. So be aware of this, plan out and be strategic about it and then make that and then make that jump. The other thing I'll say about that and the other flip side of that financial part of it is that if uh, finances are an issue or if they're not an issue even, I hear nurses who are transitioning into medical school all the time say, oh, you know what, I, I wanna go to pre-med, but before I do that, I'm gonna work for two, three, four years as a nurse and save up money for medical school. That's a bad decision because you're gonna acquire debt anyway in medical school and what you're losing out and you're making, maybe say, let's say making 80,000 as a nurse. That one year or four years that you're working as a nurse to make $80,000 a year, you're losing out on the back end in physician years when you can be making $200,000 or more. So even though it seems like you're banking cash, you're actually losing out because instead of making $80,000, you're losing $120,000 because that would be the difference between a physician salary and a nurse's salary and you're losing out on those years. So something to think about. Um, the, the last thing I'll say is once you transition to medical school, be ready to have that work placed upon you. Understand it is a long and strenuous journey, so be ready to go through it. You're starting at the bottom and you have to go through it all over again, so be ready. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Is that all this makes sense? If you have any questions, you want clarification, please put a comment in the box below and let me know. And if you've enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm always trying to bring you guys the highest level content and trying to be as specific and granular as it can be for you guys. So please take a second, like the video, subscribe to the channel, put a comment in. Let me know that you like this video and you want more videos like this. I would appreciate it. If you have any topic suggestions, put those topic suggestions right in the comments and I'll add it to my list of videos to do and I'll get you guys the advice you need. That's all I got for today. <laughs> Make sure if you guys wanna learn more, get over to my website, premedproductivity.com and check out a course. I cover these sort of issues and transitioning from alternative careers and getting to medical school, and even if you're a traditional, getting to medical school. In my course, How to Dominate Pre-Med and the Medical School Application, The Definitive Guide. It's a rock solid course that will teach you everything you need to know to be your own expert in the medical school admissions process. That way you can make sound decisions as a pre-med and also put together a killer application and a killer personal statement to get into medical schools, all right? So check that out, it's premedproductivity.com. I'm Dr. Andre Pinesett and I appreciate you taking a couple minutes to hang out with me and learn how to successfully transition from nursing to medical school. I'm out this piece, later y'all.